Hi, it's March 22nd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm Mike Stanton here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Thanks for being here, Brian. Thanks, Mike. So this week we had another Fed week, uh, and we're still kind of playing a game of will they and when will they, waiting to see when they pivot to uh, cutting interest rates from their uh, process of raising them over the last couple of years. What new did we learn this week, if anything? Yeah, there was uh, there was definitely very little price activity most of the week uh, as the market was waiting for the results of that FOMC meeting. Uh, so we saw rates very little change for you know Monday, Tuesday, and and most of Wednesday, especially on the Treasury side. Um, you know we saw the front end of the curve did drift lower in yield and stayed lower after the announcement, but uh, but the long end was pretty close to unchanged heading into Wednesday afternoon. Uh, when ultimately, as uh, you know, as the market broadly expected, the FOMC left the target rate unchanged, um, but also indicated that three rate cuts are uh, are likely in 2024. So uh, the Treasury market rallied uh, right after the announcement, but then faded back again. Uh, probably the most price action and volatility that we're seeing in the Treasury market is today. Uh, we're definitely seeing a flattening of the uh, of the yield curve. Um, on the Treasury side uh, with the long bond up almost a point uh, on, on the day. Uh, but overall, week over week changes uh, for Treasury yields are a down about five basis points in 30 years, which currently sits at about a 4.38%, uh, down nine basis points in 10 years, which is currently at like a 4.21, uh, and then down 14 basis points in the front end in two years, uh, where yields are currently at about a 4.59. Um, on the uni, uh, muni side, um, we actually underperformed a little bit for tax exempts. Um, front end of the yield curve was uh, was actually weaker by about six or seven basis points, and most of the rest of the curve was weaker by about two to three basis points. Uh, and we're continuing to underperform today uh, with that Treasury rally going on, uh, and muni's basically staying, you know, kind of unchanged as uh, is the current read. Uh, so overall, you know, a, a, a relatively a relatively quiet week. Um, supply for munis was pretty decent, given uh, given the FOMC meeting. Uh, we've been seeing very light supply weeks, you know, three maybe four billion uh, when the FOMC is meeting. Uh, but uh, but this week we had uh, about six point eight billion uh, was the headline number. Um, that was you know highlighted by a one point three billion dollar New York MTA deal that uh, that Jeffries priced. Um, and that was actually BAM's largest deal of the week. We insured about $186 million of a 2048 maturity uh, on that loan. Um, and other notable deals for BAM include a $78 million Marshall County Board of Ed, uh, which was uh, priced by Raymond James. And if we take a look at the demand side, uh, mutual fund cash flows were still modestly positive, uh, just slightly uh, positive this week, uh, giving a little bit of a tailwind to that new supply as it's coming in, although uh, you know, not enough to offset the underperformance. Uh, looking ahead to next week, uh, we do have a holiday-shortened week ahead of Easter. Um, you know, what's one thing that I noticed that was interesting is almost all of the transactions we're seeing on the calendar are in the negotiated market. Anything uh, standing out to you? Yeah, Mike, we do we do see uh, we do see supply pick back up next week, despite the uh, slightly shorter week with the Good Friday holiday. Uh, the calendar is expected to be about nine and a half billion, uh, probably closer to ten billion when all is said and done. There are a couple of uh, of larger deals on on the calendar, uh, with three of them being a billion or more. Um, uh, but uh, should be a should be a pretty healthy week of supply. Uh, BAM uh, expects to be fairly active. Some of the deals that uh, that we're highlighting uh, for our activity include uh, a, a $25 million deal for Rapides Parish School District in Louisiana, which is going to be priced by Stiefel, uh, and then a $17 million deal for a, an Atescadero RDA in California, which will be uh, priced by Sandler, uh, Piper Sandler. Sorry. Great. Well, thanks for your time this week, Brian. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.